what's up guys this is julius again from Ojas web digital solution in this video i'm going to show you how i build audience list in google analytics which will be used for retargeting ads in google's ad platform right now i'm in one of my active google analytics account and i'm seeing the data for the last seven days in the last seven days the performance has been so bad and i'm going to see what happened in the last 28 days so in the last 28 days the performance has been bad as well I'm seeing 37.1 decrease in revenue and 15.6 decrease in numbers of users. This is not acceptable at all. So why is this happening? This could be as a result of websites not performing well or as a result of low traffic from the adverts. So I'm going to see what is happening and why we're getting very much decline in our revenue. So I'm going to go straight to the conversion window and I want to check the e-commerce data. On the e-commerce section i want to check the shopping behavior and i'm clicking on the shopping behavior and it's loading the shopping data so in the last 30 days i said it to last 30 days from january 15 2019 to february 13 2019 and i'm seeing a very huge dropout from the cat abandonment and from the checkout abandonment so this is ridiculously high 260 people have ignored the checkout in the last 30 days and that is 72.83 percent increase compared to previous period this is high i have 114 cart abandonment 29.16 percent higher than that of the previous period in fact this is exactly the reason why we're getting very low revenue from our website so what can i do to correct this issue and how can i use this data to get better performance subsequently so i'm gonna use this data to build a retargeting list and that is what i call the audience list in google analytics so how do i go ahead and create the, and build the audience list i'm going to go straight to the settings um, and i want to check the audience manager so that i can build audience to target people who abandon the cart and the checkout now on my property column i'm going to go straight to the audience definitions and from the audience definitions i want to select the audiences so i click on the audiences and it's going to take me to the audience manager now from the audience manager i want to click on add new audience by the way i already have some audiences in this particular dashboard but i'm not going to use the already made audience i want to show you from beginning how i can create audience to target these people now i click on add new audience and from then i want to give my audience a name and the, the name i want to give this audience is cat abandon now i click on create new now the audience definition board is up so the next thing for me now is to define the audience i know who i want to target who i want to include in this audience can be found under the advanced section of the audience builder so i'm going to go straight to the advanced section of the audience builder and i want to define the audience based on the conditions so what is the condition so from the condition I want to define audience for users, not a section. By the way, a single user can take more than one section on the website. So I'm not going to set this condition based on the sections. I'm going to set the conditions based on the users. So I'm going to select users. Then I want to define the condition for this particular list. And what is the condition? I want to see the event action. The event action for this particular list is going to be popped up and i'm going to select the right one for me to be used in the list so the event action event action contains i'm not going to use contain i want to use exact match event action exactly matches added products and i want to add another condition to this or event action exactly matches viewed checkout contact information page that is fine or I want to see event action exactly matches started order. Or I want to see event action exactly matches shipping page. Or event action exactly matches view checkout. Now I've selected some condition I want to meet and I want to include this. So if any of these conditions are met, then look for this and i want to check transaction and i say e-commerce transaction per user is equal to zero so what i'm saying is this look for all these conditions but 
make sure they are not making any purchases on the site so anyone who meet any of these criteria but does not make any payment on the site will be added to the list so i've defined the condition and i'm going to apply this condition so i've applied the condition now this is the condition here anyone who added products to the cart view the checkout contact information page started the order view the checkout shipping page view the checkout make payment page but never make any payment these people will be added to the list and i'm seeing users over the last seven days we have 63 in the last seven days who have met this condition that is ridiculously high and i want to add the duration of this list members duration to be 30 days and the look back period now you see is seven days let me change the look back period to 30 days and you're gonna see what is happening so i want to now go ahead and go to the next page so i've seen the audience source i've seen the definition and i've given it a name so where do i want to use this audience so i'm gonna select the account i want to use this audience so i click this or this or whichever i want to use then i click ok then I finish the audience definition. So I've successfully created audience list to target people who abandon either cards, either the contact page, either the checkout page or the shipping page. So anyone who abandoned this website at that particular stage, I'm going to use this list to create a special ad and deliver the ad to them so that they can come back to the website to make purchase and I can use that opportunity to grow our revenue. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have some question you would like to ask me, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will definitely do my best to address every single comment. Thanks again for watching the video. Bye for now.